let's get straight over to Steve. He's got the jobless claims and some new housing data. Steve. Yeah, I have 1.382 million on housing starts, uh, Becky. A little better than expected, 1.36. Uh, nothing to write home about in terms of beating it. Uh, here's the table here. I can call it up and get permits. Uh, let's see. Permits were down 1.6% to 1.3 million. 1. million. Uh, that's a little worse than expected. It was 1.35 was expected. 1.33 was the number. On the jobless claims front, wow, 190, down 190,000 if I'm reading this right. Consensus was 214. Becky, the uh, data yesterday was was uh, maybe a turning point for a lot of folks when it comes to how, how ugly it was uh, on the retail front, on the uh, manufacturing front. Uh, and a lot of people saw that data and said, well, wait a second, uh, this economy may be slipping into recession. Um, we're not seeing it here in this jobless uh, claims data. Uh, the employment part of the picture seems to remain relatively strong. I don't have continuing claims did rise, but they're still a low level, 1.647 million. And I want to give you my number for the day, uh, Becky, and it is 79. That is the, uh, mar the gap between the Federal Reserve and the market pricing for year-end 2023, uh, looking at the difference between 2023 and the January 24 contract, and this gap of 79 basis points is up near a high we've seen. So the market and the Fed are in continued disagreement here, or increasing disagreement, over where things are going. Yesterday, all the Fed speak was about, you know, maybe we're going to go down and go, or go up less 25 basis points, but we're still going up near 5%. And the market's like, what are you talking about? We don't understand it. Look what happened to 10-year yields. Look at the two-year. I think I saw the two-year was maybe going to breach the 4% mark. I don't know if that's where it is this morning. Um, it was 4.07. No, it's now it's back up to 4.13. Uh, and the 10-year down near 3.32. So a lot of the extra um, uh, uh, tightness that Powell tried to build into the market from uh, the Jackson Hole speech, a lot of that's gone away, and the market and the Fed in, in increasing disagreement, guys. And I'll see you back here, uh, I guess, on Monday from Davos. Everybody have a safe flight.